What is up, everyone? It's another beautiful day in Rockland, Maine. And um, kind of got up late today. Missed my goal of getting to bed by 10 last night. May have been in bed by like 1.30. So it was rough, but i um, just gonna do a better job of that tonight. I'm headed to a little lunch business friend breakfast right now. But um, I was just thinking about some things that have happened over the past two days. And and just how, like, see, there's a difference between grateful, being grateful, and, and being um, fortunate, and being lucky. Um, and so, basically, what I feel I've been very great. I've been feeling very grateful for right now and over the past few days and really every day is the people who are around me, the, my friends and um, I would even call them advisors even though we're more, you know, friends and like a, a personal relationship. Um, but with, literally I can go to them with anything, any question, no matter how bizarre, how crazy, like they are not going to like, go off and, like, tell everybody, like, this whatever thing, you know, they're there, and they straight up give me their honest opinion, advice, because I ask for it, and, it, you know, it's a mutual relationship, but, uh, it's just, it's unreal, it's unreal how much and how valuable that is, it didn't always start that way for me, you know, like, I always knew, and I've, and I've said this before in other videos, like, uh, Jim Rohn actually said this, the great motivational speaker, he said, you're the average of your closest five friends, and, um, I just stopped at a crosswalk here, so you're the, uh, you're the average of your closest five friends, and so if you, you might have to weed out people along the way, you know, you can go looking for people to be on your support system, your your lifeline, you could call them, um, but you might have to weed them out. You might have to to remove a few people as time goes on, and you don't want to burn bridges with that. Um, you know, you never want to burn bridges in any relationship unless it's extremely toxic. But um, it's just it's so valuable. It keeps you in line on your worst days. You can go to them, and they'll be there for you. And it's also nice because they know that you'll be for, there for them and you can help them out on their down days. And so I want you to think about who is who is your lifeline? Who's in your lifeline? Who's in your top five? Uh, and you might have more than five. I think I may have more than five, but you know, I could just list people. But uh, think about who is your lifeline? Are your, Are the people you're around there for you do they understand your mission and what you want to do in your life with your life are they supporting that and whether they are or they aren't you know you can still take it with a grain of salt ultimately anything in the end is your decision but if you really respect them it'll definitely weigh a little bit heavier than the regular person down on the street um you know, so like an example of, of something I, I've had trouble with the past few days, had some, like I saw a change in patterns and how people were reacting to, to different things. And so I went to one of my, my people, or you know, one of my people on my lifeline, and I was just like, look, you know, this is happening. Like, I'm not sure, like, you, you know, you understand what's going on here. What do you think it is? And, they, you know, they let me know. And they actually went in and they experience it for themselves and they're like yeah I see why I see why now that maybe they're not reacting the way you'd expect because this is you know too complex this is not simple enough and so for me that allows me to make a change in one day I can I can make a mistake which I wouldn't even call it you know I took action it wasn't on point and so then I go to my lifeline, my lifeline gives me what they think, and now I can make those adjustments that I need to make to hopefully get, you know, the result that I want. Um, 
you know? How many times have have you gone out and, and had like some crazy question that just on your mind bothers you that you're insecure about and you just don't know what to do, right? Like, you gotta have a lifeline now. Here's, here's what you gotta be careful about. Everybody has advice and so every person on my lifeline, they are an expert in something. They are very good in some things, but they're not good in other things. So you want to make sure that you're not asking, like, uh, a butcher to give you, to bake you a cake, I guess is a, an analogy. You know, you don't want to ask a butcher to bake you a cake. You go to the butcher to get steak. You know, so go to the person who you know will will be able to give you a solid answer. Because if you go to the wrong person for advice, your the advice may not be as good and as effective as you'd like. Now, again, now, being a part and having, you know, these people beside you, you gotta, you gotta reciprocate, like, you gotta help them out, and, you, and you'll feel good about it, like, it will, it will build such a deep relationship, such a good relationship, and there's really, they, they did a study, um, a while back, and basically they took these families and the kids, and over, you know, and they literally just watched their health, and did all these tests to, to, you know, gauge their health, blood pressure, you know, if they had diabetes, if they had these certain diseases, how much sleep they're getting. For generations, it was one of the biggest studies of all time. And what they found, even, even with, you know, hereditary things, is the people who lived the longest weren't the ones who had high blood pressure at 50. The ones who lived the longest were the ones who at later parts of life had the closest relationships and they were also the most happy for whatever reason that's just like you know different stress things that go off when you don't have relationships you know different different things that will affect you not only on the outside but hormonally um so relationships and i'm not just talking like intimate relationships that could be part of it but friendships how your family relationships like you know if you can get that together it, it's just life is better that way you know because life isn't easy and if you've got that support system it makes it so much easier you know it's kind of like before I had and before you build up your lifeline there's an awesome tool that everybody's heard of but they never do it I mean there's a few but no one ever uses it, and you could literally almost find any answer to any problem that you had. And you don't have to go and talk to anyone. You don't have to build any relationships. It's called the book. And, you know, there are experts and, and just people throughout history who are just so much smarter than, than they're experts in this specific area. And if you ever have a problem, all you need to do is go read. You know, go read a book. And... A lot of people don't take advantage of that. 